Recently, I was rereading Thomas Aquinas, his Summa Theologica, masterpiece of medieval theology, uh, where Aquinas approaches a beautiful question. I like that he, the, it's presumed by Catholic theology that in paradise you will be almost not omnipotent, but you will know everything. There will be except nature of God, no secret. So, will you be allowed in paradise to see the suffering of those in hell? And uh, Aquinas' answer is yes. But then he immediately confronts a problem. If yes, then how to unite this with the fact that by definition in paradise you will be happy all the time? How can you enjoy seeing the suffering of others? Uh, Aquinas proposes a stupid, I think, invalid answer. His answer is that you, what will make you happy is not the suffering, but to witness the majesty of divine, divine justice. I think that Aquinas is speaking here. In what sense? It's in what sense is it needed for you when you enjoy heaven to see the suffering of those in hell? Let me play a game with you and let's imagine we are in heaven. Let's face it, from what we know in all the script, from all the scriptures, it's a very boring place. You have all the nectar, meadows, petals, it must be terribly boring. So the way I imagine it is that after some years there, you became a restless, you know, is this the real life and so on. And then, like, some angels who take care of you began to worry and say, are you not satisfied here? Okay, let's take a look at what's down there in hell. So you take a look at that and, okay, okay, it's better here and so on. Uh, that, that's the function of it. But, uh, so, uh, my first point here is that this logic that to enjoy your happiness, you need to uh, look at self of those who are not as happy as they claim you are, those in power. Don't we live in exactly the same predicament? Our view into hell are the TV news where the war on you. Some things here may, may be unsuitable for you, children starving in Somalia, uh, war in Syria, and so on and so on. It is as if we need those horrors in the news just to become aware of how happy we should be staying where we are. But so what's my view of this? Ah, you may be here shocked. My view is this one. What if we turn around the perspective and claim that's my private dream, that uh, maybe we got the wrong idea of hell. Maybe all the oil is there burning for barbecues, you drink, you have orgies, you are happy, and so on and so on. So my idea of hell is it's quite a nice place, and then once a week, the devil's manager comes to you and says, listen guys, we all know we have a good time here. But now, for a quarter of an hour, we will be observed from heaven. So please, pretend that you suffer horribly and so on and so on. And now then, after a quarter of an hour, it's, okay, CNN cameras are off. You can enjoy it again. Now you think I'm kidding here. I am not. I think that Keep happiness and true creative, not even pleasure, this is not pleasure, this is full enjoyment, are incompatible.